Hello everyone, this is Midas Touch. I hope that you guys had an amazing day so far. Please hit the like, subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. Keep in mind that these are general messages, so it will not resonate with everyone. Please take what resonates and leave what does not. And let's see what is the general message for you guys for the week of May 27th. Let me cut my cards first and then I'll begin. Spirit of Divine Light and Guardian Angels, please give me general messages for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of May 27th. Ooh, why did, why did I do that? Anyways, I'll keep it. So for the week of May 27th of 2024, please speak through me and through the cards for the viewers. Please also protect me and the viewers from all harm. Thank you. So I, I will take this as it's meant to come out <laughs> because it just shoot out. Could have been due to the fact that I was flicking so hard. But you guys have the Queen of Pentacles card. So I see you guys are um, protective over something. This is, could be something in regards to where you stand with a significant other. You're willing to protect your spot, your place from other women that's trying to compete with you towards your partner. Or this could be your partner being protective over you this week with the Queen of Pentacles. So even though I mentioned a queen, this could also be a man as well. So this is giving me the energy of earth sign, which would be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This could be someone that you're dealing with this week, or this may be your energy. You may have Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn and your nadir chart. So this is in regards of home, stability, and romance. So you guys are protective over this relationship this could be you protecting your stability. You're working hard towards protecting your stability. I do see you guys celebrating something as well with the Four of Wands card. There's some sort of clarity that you are going to receive with the Ace of Swords card. This is a clarity towards the dy dynamic of the relationship of where you stand with your partner. Okay, so that will make sense. So it's giving me the impression that this is someone that you have known for quite some time, and now you want them to step up to the plate to really show and prove, to show you, because you're tired of wondering is she really with me or is he really with me like that? You're tired of second guessing where you stand with this person. Now with the Ace of Swords card, I do feel that for some of you, this person is going to go the extra mile to show you that no one can take your spot. And they may show you by going the extra mile and proposing towards you or proposing to you and pronouncing their love for you towards the world, letting everyone know, hey, she is mine. If you respect me, you got to respect her. And I see this being positive. I see this is definitely going to put a smile in, on your face. Because it's giving me satisfaction with the sun card. You guys are going to be satisfied with how this person moves. This person is a person that um, they have been paying attention to details. And this person view you as someone who has high standards, who is very intelligent. 
with the Eight of Pentacles card. For others of you, you guys are working towards building your mind. You're building your knowledge. You're obtaining some sort of higher knowledge. This could be you going back to school or this could be you just building your mind and your skills, sharpening up your skills this week. And it's going to work out in your favor with the Wheel of Fortune because I see whatever you decide to work on, it's going to bring great success and happiness. You guys were destined to have a lot in life. You were destined to be in a powerful position. However, for some of you guys, it's up to you to really wake up to your potential. A lot of you guys could be sleeping on your potential. And speaking of sleeping on your potential, there is someone who is very hopeless. And they are playing the victim role. This could be someone that you walked away from in the past. They're hopeless due to the fact that the cycle has completed with you guys. You became very dissatisfied with this person. And it caused for you to separate from this person. And I feel like this same person from the past, they have been coming up in your readings quite some time. So this person truly has yet to fully let you go, Cancer. Or this may be how some of you feel about this past person. This past person may have water in their chart. You guys are the water sign as well with the Cancer. But they may have water or air somewhere in their chart. So they may be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So the Five of Swords card came out for you guys as well. So there is someone that wants to come and argue with you. This person wants to argue with you because of what you have. Because of what you have. It's giving the impression that they see how you have a lot of attention with the Knight of Pentacles card. They see how efficient you are. And they just want to argue with you. Keep in mind, misery loves company. That's one thing to remember. If this person was happy, they would not try to argue with you. Yeah, so this person, they want to argue with you and they may want you to take accountability for something. They feel that you owe them something. But to be quite honest with you, a lot of you cancers, the only thing that you owe this person is for them to kiss your ass. Excuse my French. But anyways, whoever this miserable person is, you still have other people that want to court you, that want to date you. You guys are a hot commodity. For some of you cancers, my goodness, you got the hot cakes. I, I see that you guys have the hot cakes. You guys are also going to be coming in towards some sort of awakening this week. This could be you coming to the realization about this past person <laughs> just being a miserable piece of crap. And they still want to write your, and I'm so sorry because I talk so fast, like, because I be trying to dissect or the messages or understand them the best way that I can. But this person that you cut off, they're not doing well financially. They're still insecure. They are still lacking resources. It's giving me a very needy energy. And this is your energy with the three of wands. You guys are just planning your next steps. You guys are planning your stability. You're focusing on your stability. You're focusing on how to keep your spot from these vultures that's trying to take your spot. But I see overall success for you cancers that's been working hard for you cancers that are going back to school. I see success 
And keep in mind with success, it does bring envy, it brings jealousy, it brings low vibrational energy, but you continue to work on yourself, your stability, and this other person that, you know, who you feel that needs to show and prove, I do feel that they will show and prove. They will step up to the plate. Okay, Cancer, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like, subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. Bye-bye.